uh, the la uh, lander consists of two parts. There's one part which will land, and that has uh, certain devices like cameras and spectroscopes on it. There is one part which is the rover, so that will detach itself and actually move over the moon's surface. And there is a crater nearby which it will try to explore. So that's my understanding. And what these instruments carry on board, they carry remote sensing uh, devices. So essentially they are cameras which will give a picture of a part of the moon which no one has ever seen before at these close quarters. And also there are these instruments called spectroscopes which vaporize a little bit of the rock and look at the spectrum and they tell us what the rocks are made of so the chemistry will also be known. So we will certainly be much, much wiser about that part of the moon than, uh, it, because this is the first time any expedition is going there. Yes, sir. The Gaganyan selection also started after this moon mission. Uh, the government wants to go to the Mars and other space uh, uh, things. So what will happen about it? What do you say about this Gaganyan? I think it's going to be a success. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, way back in 2005, before even Chandrayaan 1 had been launched, I had the good fortune to attend a meeting to discuss this Chandrayaan 2. And at that time, it was entirely in the planning stage. And people had not a clear idea of how it would be, where it would go, what it would do. And now, after 14 years, today I, we can actually say that this is going to happen. This is really happening. And today, Gaganyan or Mangalyan are in a similar situation. We are planning them. I am sure it will come to success. And I think our scientists and engineers and entire team at ISRO and elsewhere who are working on this are perfectly competent. And I'm sure they will have great success in these programs in the future. So what will happen exactly in the 15 minutes time that a scientist like you are telling that 15 minutes is very crucial when the rover lands on the moon's surface? So that is what I told you. In those 15 minutes, they will take some thousands of photographs and also these spectroscopic data, a huge amount will be collected. Their machines are very fast. And that data will then, it will take some long time to analyze but we will, at the end of it, we will know a great deal about the structure of the moon at that time. And from there, you can deduce many things about what will happen to the moon, uh, what happened to the moon, how it was formed, many, much information about how planetary formation. So, very important for both science and, of course, a great stride for Indian technology. Yes, we are joined by the Birla uh, Planetarium Director and a great scientist, Siddharth Dazi, also. Let us ask some questions to him. And he has been observing this moon mission since, you know, he is in this activity since last 35 years. Sir, what will happen when the uh, rover lands on the surface of the moon? Um, if it lands safely, as we hope it will, then the rover will start moving here and there, going forward, coming back, and analyzing the chemicals on the moon's surface, analyzing the terrain, rocks and all that, and also, in particular, looking for water, where water is, in what quantities, and so on. Because we must remember that it is Chandrayaan 1 which uh, Chandrayaan 1 which really uh, discovered water on the moon 10 years back so how much water where is the water and so on then we also know that the moon has helium 3 which is a very good source for nuclear reactors to operate so uh, if we have energy if we have water then that is half the battle done. The other half is that uh, uh, the people need air to breathe because the moon has no atmosphere. So uh, what happens there is that we plan to have biospheres near the south pole of the moon where we can grow animals, not animals but plants at least, and which will have a uh, a capacity for retaining some oxygen so that uh, the astronauts need not come away immediately but can stay there for a few days. Now, the advantage of all this is that the moon's gravity is uh, just uh, one-sixth the gravity of the Earth. So, one-sixth the gravity means it is much easier to blast rockets from the moon. 
than from the Earth. So we can have a lunar station to send rockets to explore Mars, asteroids and so on. So it is a huge picture which will take 50 to 75 years to com complete. Sir, the government, uh, the ISRO started this Gaganyan selection process and after this moon, uh, Chandrayaan, the Gaganyan, say something about this Gaganyan, sir. The Gaganyan is nothing but sending astronauts into outer space. Rakesh Sharma went uh, in, an U in a USSR uh, module. Now we will be sending astronauts to space in our own spacecraft and they are already being trained, these potential astronauts, in Russia because they have the training facilities we do not have. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.